The SMP leadership candidate Ash Regan has come out to expose a potential stitch up and conflict of interest in this election, which means that she's definitely not going to become leader after this. Oh dear God. So we've got three candidates. Humza Useless, sorry, Humza Yusuf. You've got uh, Kate Forbes who is uh, being attacked by all the pro Nicola Sturgeon minions. And you've got the, the nobody outsider, Ash Regan, who's standing in the middle with that weird smile. So Ash Regan uh, decided to become brave in order to stand out. And actually, fair, fair enough. Fair, absolutely good. You need to stand out. You need to be dif different to the others. You don't want to be a, another Nicola Sturgeon uh, like Humza. And you don't want to be completely attacked like Kate Forbes either. It's still not going to work. But Ash has come out to do two things. To talk about the things that you shouldn't really talk about as an SMP candidate. You should not talk about Peter Morrell, the husband of Nicola Sturgeon, who runs the show, who operates at the highest level in the SMP, as well as the money that went missing. So she's done both. So she's definitely going to lose now. So uh, Ash has come out to say, well, if rumors of the missing £600,000 donation uh, have substance, then careers will come to an end. She's actually said that I don't have any dark secrets. I'm going to be uh, promoting and pushing for transparency and investigation into the missing money and any other financial corruption inside the party. She wants to make SMP sensible again. Good luck with that. But that's not really good enough because the whole of the party is still operated under the management of Peter Morrell, who is a Nicola Sturgeon's husband. He is basically at the top of the SMP. But there's another problem. <laughs> guess what? Because of his role, guess who is running this SMP leadership election? Oh, yeah, it's Peter Morrell. So Nicola Sturgeon's husband is finding Nicola Sturgeon's replacement. So there is definitely a potential conflict of interest, at least. And at worst, there could be a potential stitch up. We're not really doing any accusations, but it could. You know, if, if it were me, I'll do it. <laughs> if my wife was standing down and I have to find the replacement, I'll find another one who is like my wife. Um, obviously not. But in reality, you had uh, Ash Regan coming out to say that, well, Peter is running the contest to replace his wife. That would be like Carrie Johnson counting the votes for Boris Johnson's successor. I think many people would think that would be fairly unusual. I think that there is a conflict of interest here. That was a good, that was a good example because, oh yeah, of course you're going to have SMP supporters saying, well, no, it's different because he does have an official role. Sure, but the whole, the, 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 the words conflict of interest exist in life despite official roles so it happens all the time with any investigation with any election with any corporations any corporate decision even if your official hat is you know the, the ceo of the party for example then at times you, you're gonna have to step aside and allow actual impartial independent people to do it you can't run the show to replace your own wife's replacement it's a bit weird it's just a bit weird just just get out just retire. Go somewhere else. You've got so many islands in Scotland around it. Just go have fun. But no, they're not going to give up because the whole idea is to replace Nicola Sturgeon with another Nicola Sturgeon. That's why he's still there. That's why this election is happening. And then that's why they had to wait to make sure that there is a pet project, Humza Useless, to, who is ready to replace Nicola Sturgeon. Otherwise, she could have resigned two years ago, as we kept requesting her to do that. <laughs> but she's firstly... Good news, she's definitely going. Bad news, she might be replaced with Humza Useless. And third bad news, Peter Morrell is not going anywhere. So technically, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Anyway, uh, speaking of uh, weird decisions, let's uh, uh, take a quick break for half an hour. We're going to come back and talk to you guys about uh, a few insolent Britain activists who were arrested. And they've got the verdict uh, and the, the sentence for the punishment. And you'll be surprised how soft the punishment is. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.